Okay. Good morning. Um, time is up. We are going to. I'm going to start with the class. It's eleven o'clock, and uh, uh, although I don't have any student at this moment, I'm going to uh, teach this class, and I'm going to record it for you to see it later if you want it. Okay. Um, uh, before starting with the class, I would like to talk to you a little bit about uh, the reasons why uh, I am doing this. I'm going to say this in Spanish because I think it is very important for you to have it very clear. Uh, bien, estimados estudiantes, no es cierto de la, de la, de la clase. Eh, ayer en una reunión que tuvimos con los profesores, eh, donde hubo aproximadamente 26 o 27 profesores que participaron, llegamos al acuerdo de eh, continuar con, nuestro, con nuestras clases eh, como se había acordado. Nosotros habíamos quedado en una pausa que duraba una semana, esa semana terminó, y ahora volvemos a, eh, a enseñar y hacer nuestras clases normalmente. Eso es lo que se había acordado y eso es lo que eh, ratificamos el día de ayer con la participación de todos los profesores. Eh, lo hacemos porque consideramos que es absolutamente necesario que no perdamos más clases porque lo, los, eh, los, los eh, estragos que esta, esta detención están causando en ustedes son, son claros, porque obviamente... Si ustedes no practican, es muy difícil que puedan llegar a conseguir eh, competencias como las que necesitan para ser buenos profesionales en el futuro. Esa es la razón principal. Eh, empatizamos con aquellos que no tienen eh, los medios todavía, pero me, nos parece que la universidad está haciendo las gestiones respectivas para poder eh, ayudar a aquellas personas y pensamos que Igual se puede, ¿no es cierto?, tratar de conseguir esto sin necesidad de detener las clases. Creemos, eh, hablo, ¿no es cierto?, personalmente y por, por lo que eh, hicimos ayer, o, o por lo que conversamos ayer, que, que no es eh, lo mejor detener las clases. Eh, se puede perfectamente continuar, eh, seguir, eh, digamos, solicitando lo que se está pidiendo, pero mientras tanto tratar de avanzar y después los, los compañeros que, que están o vayan quedando atrasados tendrán que ponerse al día y obviamente nosotros les vamos, vamos a tener la mayor flexibilidad para ayudarlos en sus, en sus, eh, en sus problemas. ¿ya? Eso ha sido siempre así y no va a cambiar. ¿ya? El, el año pasado cuando tuvimos la, las, eh, las clases online, nosotros le Dimos todas las facilidades del caso para que ustedes pudieran eh, completar su semestre. Y ahora va a ser igual. Tenemos toda la mejor actitud para poder eh, ayudarlos, pero creemos que es necesario tener eh, clases, porque de esa manera es la única manera en que podemos avanzar y lograr lo que el objetivo mayor, que es ¿no es cierto? ser buenos profesionales, eh, para nuestro país. ¿Ya? Eso es lo que quería decirle antes de iniciar la clase. So now I'm going to start with my class. Um, so today um, I'm going to talk about what are the competencies that I want you to, to get. These are three for this class. Uh, number one is understand the differences between past simple and past continuous in the grammatical aspect. Uh, number two is try to use both sentences in an appropriate way. In, and number three is to talk about past events using both grammatical tenses. This one is not going to be possible because to do this uh, competency, I need you, because the idea was that you could tell me one story of your life uh, um, told in the past using both tenses. As you, as you are not in this class now, I will have to omit that competencies, okay? Competency. Uh, 
Well, um, first of all, I'm going to start by showing and explaining the infography that explain when to use the simple past and past progressive. I think that in the last class, we also saw that, but I think it would be important to see it again. Okay, so let's see. I cannot, oops. I'm trying to go to share the screen, but uh, I cannot do it right now. There we go. I think I have it now. Yeah. Okay, so um, in here, uh, I have both tenses in an infography. Let's start by past continuous. The idea is see when to use it, okay? And in here I have an infography that explains some kind of, some way of using these this, uh, tenses. Past continuous, you can use it in all these situations when there are two actions, yeah, which are overlapped. For example, I was walking to the station when I met John. Okay, there are two actions. One was happening while other was there, okay? So when I met John, in that precise moment, I was walking to the station. I was doing something. Usually you use this with when and the past simple, or with another expression like two o'clock, 7 p.m., etc. Okay, for example, I can say when uh, I entered the room, they were uh, watching a good movie. For example, when I entered one action, they were doing another thing. They were watching a story or watching television, etc. Okay, the second idea is when there is a story background, when you are telling a story and then you are kind of uh, relating what is what you were observing for example when something happened the birds were singing and the sun was shining right you are in this case retelling something describing okay describing something that was in the past okay and you can see lots of ideas you can see lots of things and so you describe those things and usually you describe them through the past continuous Okay, also you use it with some past habits. For example, uh, with always, with forever, constantly at a time in those days. For example, uh, in those days she was, I don't know, always, you know, uh, she was always uh, uh, talking with friends or going to parties. She doesn't do it anymore, but in those days she was always going to parties, okay? So when you talk about some past habits, you can also use the past progressive. Remember that the past progressive, the structure is verb to be in the past, was where, plus ing, okay? And then the, other, the final thing is emphasis, emphasis of the length of action. For example, I was working in the garden all day. Yeah, you are emphasizing a duration in time yeah they were uh working i mean the firemen were working on the fire for hours to extinguish it okay so you are emphasizing in the length of the action that it was not something that happened and finished it was something that was happening for a period of time okay so that is the infography about um, past progressive. What about simple past? 
This is the infography of the simple past. When to use it, yeah? When you talk about a finished action in time. I went to the cinema yesterday. The action finished, is over, and usually you use it with an other adverb of time, like for example, yesterday, last night, in 2003, six months ago, or today in the morning, etc. So usually when you talk about an action that finished, you add the adverb that indicates that the action has finished, all right? For example, uh, I'm going to think about one action. For example, I, uh, I had two cups of coffee this morning. Yeah, so the action finished because I, it was this morning and I didn't continue doing it, all right? Okay, another finished action, but in time. Yeah, not, not uh, something like happened just a moment ago, but in time. For example, Le Leonardo painted the Mona Lisa. Yeah, uh, the telephone was invented, or uh, no, I would have to say, Graham Bell invented the telephone. Okay, so something that happened in the past and stays in the past. Okay. Okay. Hello. Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. Where are you? Hello. Hola, profe. ¿Cómo está? Okay, good. I am, I had studied the class. I am, um, I am. Muchas gracias. Si solo pasaron dos minutos. But I started. It's time, time to start, and I start. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I was just reviewing uh, Kimberly. Okay, I was reviewing okay. because this, uh, this thing that I am showing to you now happened the last class. I saw. I show you these infographies, and uh, now uh, I am repeat, repeating it. Okay, repeating them. I already saw the infography about the simple past. Sorry, the past progressive, and now we are talking about simple past. So I said that in the case of the simple past, you use it to express an action that is finished yesterday and you use it with another of time yesterday last night in 2003 six months ago etc also you use it for a an action that finished in time like leonardo painted the mona lisa graham bell uh, invented the telephone etc also to talk about uh, details of news for example i've hurt my leg i fell off a ladder okay why i've hurt my leg because i fell off a ladder Okay, you can use this with present perfect. And also, you use the past simple to talk about actions in the stories. For example, you use it with past continuous while his wife was talking to the stranger. He sat down and ordered a coffee. Okay, so you mix both uh, tenses. Profe, pero está pegado en Google, como que no muestra lo que se supone que está explicando. Kimberly, speak English. Oh, uh, I can't see the image you're talking about. It's frozen really? like on Google. Yeah. Oh, let's see. But it says here that that if I want to show this. I mean, you are sharing the screen, but it's just on Google. OK. And in there? Okay, then I can see something that says past simple actions and stories. Yeah, that is what I okay, want. Great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you also talk in here. We uh, we are talking about the if clauses that you you can use the simple past or you have to use the simple past when you are talking about an unreal or or imaginary situation. For example. In the in the simple past, Gloria Mena is so. For example, if I won the lottery, I haven't won the lottery, okay. But if I won, I would buy a house. In this case, the second conditional is when you start, you know, talking about something that may have happened, but it didn't. 
you use the past tense in here, although it is for present, because it's something that you are thinking about now. If I won the lottery now, I would buy a house. What would you do, Kimberly, if you won the lottery? I would travel the world. You would travel. Where would you like to travel? What places would you like to know? Uh, maybe um, the Philippines or Europe, something interesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, perfect. Yes. Uh, so, I have to use the if clauses with the past simple. Okay, but this is, remember that there are three clauses. The first okay. one, the first clause is for present or future activities. For example, present mm -hmm. and future. If I have money, if I have money, I will travel to Europe. If I win the lottery, okay. I will travel to, to Europe. Now, this is this uh, second condition is to, th to think about situations that are not true, but you are imagining oh. them, okay? I mean, it is possible to win the lottery, but it's not like a big chance. Yeah, you, know, you haven't won the lottery. But you can think, imagine another thing. For example, if I, uh, I don't know, if this uh, situation, I mean the coronavirus, if this situation finished, past tense, but I imagine in this, if this situation finished, I would go to a bar and I would buy a lot of drinks to celebrate. See? So in this second, second uh, conditional, you use the past tense with would because it's something that is not real, but you are imagining it. Imagining it. Okay? Think about that, uh, Kimberly. For example, what would you do if this situation finished? I would celebrate. I would celebrate. <laughs> and now use, I would use the both, uh, I mean the complete uh, if clause. Si esta situación terminara, celebraría con mis amigos, por ejemplo. How would you say that? Um, if this situation, uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah. Si, si esta situación terminara, acabara, finalizara, mm -hmm. celebraría con mis amigos. I would celebrate with my friends. Apart. Do the first part. If this situation ended, I would celebrate with my friends. Yeah. Right. Perfect. So in, in here you're using the past tense. Although, so that is what, something that you have to be uh, aware that, you're using the past tense, although you're not talking about something that is past tense, because this if clause is for the present, okay? If this, if this situation finished now, I would celebrate, right? But you, you're using the past tense for a situation that you, is imaginary and you hope it happens now. If I won the lottery now, I would buy a house for my parents, for example. Yeah. So that's another possibility to use simple past. All right. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. It is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, for example, uh, I'm going to share again. Uh, I wrote something in the in the whiteboard about both grammatical tenses, okay? The past simple that you use when there is something that finished totally, it has to be used with a verb in the past. For example, I went to the movies last night. The action is over, the action finished, and you use the verb in the past. The negatives, you, you do it with did, and the verb in the present. I didn't go to the movies last night. You ask a question using auxiliary, verb in the present. Whenever you have an auxiliary, whenever you have an auxiliary, the verb has to go in the infinitive. The only time in which you use the past tense or the past verb is when you talk about an affirmative form, 
I went to the movies last night. Yeah. Negative, I didn't go. Question, did you go? And this question so is for yes or no. Yes. The verb, the verb go, it's in infinitive. Yeah. When you have the other... in the okay. negative and question. Why? Okay. Because in the negative and question, you have to use the auxiliary. Okay. Yep. <laughs> for example, you cannot ask without the auxiliary. You can say, for example, when I to the movies, that would be chamuyation, right? You know that. How, ca how can you ask using the auxiliary verb? Did. So when you use the auxiliary, immediately the, go, the verb goes into infinitive. Did you travel? Did you study? Did you work? Did they come? Did they invite, etc.? I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I didn't travel. I didn't smoke, etc. Okay. When you start the, 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 the question with an auxiliary, so the answer is yes or no. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yeah. And you can also ask by using a question word. And then the, uh, the answer is specifically to the question word. Where did you go last night? Where? To the movies. I went to the movies. Yeah. So this is in general the structure of the past simple. The past progressive, meanwhile, has to, has to use the past tense of the verb to be plus the main verb with ing. Yeah. For example, my mother was cooking when I got home. One action was happening while another was also happening. Yeah. This one finished. I got home. But at that moment, moment my mother was cooking. Right. My dad wasn't doing anything. He was reading the paper. The negative form, in this case, you do it with the verb to be. You don't use the auxiliary verb. Okay. So was, wasn't, where, weren't, plus ing. Wasn't doing. Weren't cooking. Uh, weren't studying, all right? So if you use the past simple of be, the other verb must, obligatory, mandatory with ing, yeah? And then um, you can also, also ask question with uh, question word, what were they doing when the accident happened? They were talking. Were you there at the moment, at that moment? No, I wasn't. Oh, yes, I was, okay? So this is kind of the, uh, the um, uh, review of both tenses, past simple and past progressive, okay? And uh, now I'm going to try to, to see another, to share another uh, image. Sophie? Yes? Uh, in the last sentence that you wrote for the example, it said, uh, were you there last night? Mm -hmm. But where is the ing verb in that sentence? No, because in that sentence you are not talking about a situation that uh, that was happening at a certain moment. You are talking about uh, a state. Where a statement? Are you there? A state. Where are you there? Estabas allí. Uh -huh. Estabas. No, okay. so, no, no estabas mirando. If I would say, for example, where are you looking at the moment that the accident happened? Uh, in that case, you are saying, where are you looking? Estaba mirando. But in the other, what I ask in there is, where are you there? Estabas ahí. Okay. Right? So it, in that case, it's an state, not an action that was happening at a certain moment. All right? Is it clear? When you say, for example, I was at home. You are not using ing in there because uh, I was at home yesterday at at night or yesterday night. I was at home. What were you doing at that moment? Well, at nine I was watching a video. I was uh, watching a movie movie on Netflix. See, one thing is what you were doing, and the other thing is if you were only there, if you were at home. I was at home. What were you doing? I was watching a movie on Netflix. Okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, 
I also want to show, to share, I don't know why in here is the screen. He said, if I say compartir, it appears another thing, but I don't want that. Probably I'm going to, yeah, okay. See? Okay, let's see. There we go. Can you see? We see Google. Yeah, all right, okay. Now I'm going to go up in here. Simple past versus past progressive. Okay, this web page, I'm going to upload it today. Uh, it's very good because in here you have kind of a parallel between the simple past and the past progressive. Okay, for example, it says here, simple past, past progressive. Irregular verbs, see second column of irregular verbs. For example, I spoke, or regular verbs with ed. I spoke, or regular, I worked. While in past progressive, B plus ing, I was speaking, you were speaking. He or she, it was speaking, we were speaking, they were speaking. In here, you use B plus ing. In here, you use just the verb in the past, okay? Now, here you have some exceptions. For example, uh, when to use ed, yeah? For example, when you have a verb that ends in e, in e, for example, love, you don't have to write ed, you only write d. Love, loved. Uh, after a short stressed vowel, the final consonant is doubled. For example, admit, admit it, double T. So there are some other examples. Travel, travel, you repeat the, the last L. Uh, or when you have a, a, ver a regular verb ending in Y, you have to change the Y for an I and then ED. For example, worry, worried. Except play. Play doesn't have that rule. You don't have to change the Y for an I. But all the others, worry, what other can I think of? Um, oh, what other verb end, ending in Y? Worry, uh, I can't think of any, but but if you have an, a verb end, ending in Y, you have to change it in I, E, D. No, by is irregular, by bought. Yeah, so it, it's, it has to be a regular verb with ending in Y. Um, yeah, I said cry. Which one? Cry. Try, yeah, tried. That, that is one, one, one good example. Yeah. Then you have some uh, also things with ING, for example, come, coming with agree, agreeing study studying right sit sitting etc so th those are exceptions yeah then in here you have use after another another or at the same time for example after another she came home switched on the computer and checked her emails okay you use the simple pass when you are like giving examples of one situation after another yeah she came home coma switched on the computer and checked her emails yeah the past progressive you use it with with two actions that are happening at the same time in simple pass is one action after another in past progressive two actions at the same time for example simon was playing on the computer while his brother was watching tv yeah, both ing. You can also have one in the past continuous and the other one in this simple past. For example, uh, Simon was playing on the computer when his father called him. Yeah. Yeah, here, new action or already in progress. New action for the simple past. My mobile rang while I was sitting in a meeting. Yeah. Action already in progress. While I was sitting in a meeting, my mobile suddenly rang. Okay. Then 
only mentioning something or emphasizing progress. In the simple past you just mentioned, Colin played football yesterday. You only mentioned the action, but you, if you want to emphasize that the action was not stuck in the past, that was happening in the past, you use the past progressive. Yesterday at six o'clock, Colin was playing football. Yeah. At a certain moment, you were doing something. Okay. Now, certain verbs. The following verbs are usually are usually only used in simple past, not in progressive form. Do you remember that we talk about some state verbs the other time? Those verbs that cannot go with ing. Yeah. For example, be. For example, belong, uh, the ones with senses here, see, smell, etc. Usually, or love, or feelings, you cannot say, I was loving Jenny. I love Jenny, all right? So these are the examples of this. Verbs that cannot be used with ing form. So they will never go in the past progressive. They will have to go in the simple past. Is that clear for you or not? Do you have it clear, yes, Kimberly? It's clear. It is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that is about in here. I'm going to upload this, uh, this page. In here you have lots of exercises. Exercise one, for example. Just take a look. Here you have some examples for that. To do. Put the verbs into the correct tense, simple past or past progressive. For example, you have here while, so that indicates you that in here you have to use present progressive. Yeah, while Tom was reading. Was reading. Yeah, Emily watched. No, was watching. Yeah. Both okay. are, were happening at the same time. While Tom was reading, Emily was watching a documentary on TV. Okay. okay. So that's the idea. For example, in here, this is an enumeration of actions. So Marvin came home. Came home. Switched on the computer. Yes. And checked his emails. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and here the thief miró a la casa, se humió, sería sneaked o oh. sneaked into the house. Yeah. Robó las joyas. Mm, stole the jewels. Yeah. Is the child and left it? and Is left without body? a trace. <laughs> and left without a trace. All right, see? Here you have mm -hmm. lots of lots of exercises. So you have with these examples, reading this, then you can do exercise two, new or already in progress, exercise three and four, just mentioning or emphasizing progress, exercise five and exercise six, mixed exercise, exercise seven and exercise eight. Okay, all this you can do it at home. Yeah, in order to to practice these two grammatical tenses. All right. And uh, I'm going to show the other the other thing that I wanted to show. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Wait for me. Ah, there. Yeah, here. Here you have another page that I'm going to upload it to. Exercises on simple past or past progressive. These are more general. They can be both. Simple past or past progressive. See? I think that this has all the things that you have in there uh, separated. Okay? All the different ideas, but you know, you can do it in, in there. Okay? So that's that's uh, some of the we did this the first one, this one, 
and this one. What about this one, number four? How would you do it? Nobody while the teacher, the tenses. Nobody was listening while the teacher was explaining the tenses. All right, <laughs> look at that. Now it's like this, you, you are only two. So almost nobody, you will have to say, um, almost nobody was listening while the teacher was explaining the tenses. Right. Okay, the other one. While we were doing yeah. a sightseeing tour, our friends laid on the beach, were laid okay. on the beach. Both were happening at the same time because you have while in there. So while mm -hmm. we're doing a sightseeing tour, our friends were lying on the beach. Mm -hmm. All right. Noima. Yep. And the last one. He. Um, he woke up and looked at his watch. Right. He woke up and looked at his watch. All right. Okay. Uh, now. The other, the other time we saw also this, but we're going to do it right now. Uh, how can I make it bigger? Ah, here. The other time we use this image to describe. This is a picture of the past. We can so in see order to describe, this. we can see picture. the picture. Huh? We can see the picture. We're, it, it's frozen on the other exercises. Uh, yeah. Let me go back. <laughs> Let me go back. I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to get out of here and try to start again. Uh, here. There. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes we can see it. Yeah. Okay, I was telling you that we did this already last class, and uh, we also described this is a picture. It's a, this is an image, a frozen image of something that was happening another time ago. Okay, so you can describe this, yeah, uh, by using the past continuous, right? Uh, for example, what was uh, Kim doing at that moment, uh, Kimberly? Your friend Kim, what was she doing? Uh, maybe I can say something like, while Sam was skating, Kim was listening to music. Yeah, she was listening to music and walking at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? And Sam was, uh, yeah, he was uh, skateboarding. All right. Okay. Gloria, are you there? Do you want to participate or not? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, pick up one, one of the um, images that you have in there and pick up one and tell me what they were doing or he was doing or she was doing at the moment. Mm, Leo? Yeah. Uh, Leo is sitting on a bench. Yeah, but remember, that um, it's correct what you're saying, but remember that we're talking about something that happened. So it's past, past. So Leo was, was sitting, yeah, oh. was sitting on a bench, right? Uh, on a bench, and is was fitting a dog? Yeah, he was fitting a dog. Uh, uh, Kim, was Oliver feeding his dog or not? Um, no, he um, was walking his dog. Yeah, he was walking his dog. That's right. And uh, um, uh, Gloria, what was Daniel doing? Daniel? What is Daniel? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Daniel was playing with her, with his, yes. his dog. No, I think it's a dog or a cat. But it's a cat. It's, it's a, cat. a cat. Right. Okay, a cat. So Daniel was playing with his cat. And uh, Kimberly, uh, what was Ella doing? Uh, 
while Law and Ella and Logan tell me what they were doing. Um, okay, so Ella was reading a book while Logan was uh, on his phone. Yeah, right. Ella was lying and reading a book while Logan was sitting and uh, looking at his uh, cell phone. That's right. Um, and what about uh, what about Mia, uh, Gloria? Can you see Mia? Yeah. Mia. <laughs> it's on the um, left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mia was playing a violin. Yeah, playing the violin. Playing yeah. the violin. All right. And uh, she was asking for money too, right? Mm. Yeah, because she, she has her, her hat on the floor. So probably she's asking for tips. Okay. It seems that she plays very well, but at the moment she needs money. She needed money, so she was uh, asking for money. Okay, and finally, uh, Kimberly, what about Noah and Zoe? What were they doing? I no me acuerdo cómo era el verbo que usó. I don't remember the verb you told me last time because you um, told me it was not kayaking or kayaking? something else. Kayaking? No, it wasn't kayaking. No, rowing. Rowing a boat. Rowing? Yeah. Rowing. Yeah. How do you spell that? It's R-O-W. That's row. To row is, is the verb. R-O-W, and rowing oh, okay. is the uh, rowing. rowing a boat. Okay, so Noah and Zoe were rowing a boat. Yeah, Noah and Zoe were rowing a boat. Okay, so as you can see, uh, one of the uses of, uh, of the past continuous is to talk about actions as were happening at a certain moment. Yeah, and here you can't use a simple past because the actions were occurring they were not over they were not finished so for that reason you are using or you have to use the, the past continuous okay now i'm going to ask you to do something i'm going to um, give you some minutes and uh, think about a situation uh, in your life and you are going to tell me that i'm going to start so for you to see uh, something that happened to me. I don't know if I have told you this before, but once I had an accident, a pretty bad accident, I uh, ran over. Do you understand run over? Yes. Yes, you run over. I ran over um, two motorcyclists, okay? Uh, so it was pretty bad. I'm going to tell the story because it happened many, many, many years ago, all right? So I'm going to try to use simple past and past progressive, okay? And in a short way, Yo, okay, that happened to me many years ago when I was still very young. I was just starting um, my, uh, uh, as a professor, I was working at the Eduardo de la Barra at that time. It was five o'clock in the afternoon. I was going down from, uh, from hill to the sea. I was going through Avenida Francia up to Teleton. I was kind of the Teleton building. I stopped there. I crossed the street. I stopped in the middle of the, of the road, looked. I don't know what happened really. I don't know if I looked to the left instead of looking to the right. But the thing is that I passed and suddenly I saw a motorcycle with two people and I hit them violently, all right? And they flew away. Uh, the, the motorcycle was, you know, to one side and the two people went to the other side. I got shocked at the moment. My hands were trembling, you know. I, the first idea was, for me, the, f the first idea that I had was to run away. But then I thought, and I said, I can't do that. So I get off the car. I went to see the people. I thought that they were dead. I looked at them, and they were on the street. 
uh, one of them, the way it was a couple, there were two, a man and a woman. Then, then lady, later I saw that they were, I, uh, I realized, or I knew that they were teachers also like me. The guy was on the floor, lying on the floor, and he had an open injured in his leg. So the injury was open so I could see his bone. <laughs> so it was terrible. And the woman was farther away, unconscious. So I, uh, I sat on the floor and uh, suddenly thousands of people came. Uh, the police came and they asked me if I had uh, drunk. Uh, and they took me to the police station. I said that I, that I hadn't drunk, I was normal. And uh, well, finally I was taken to the police. I was in the police office for five hours. I can remember exactly until they set me free. Uh, it was an accident. So the, the, the lawyer said that it was an accident. And then I went to see the guys at the hospital. Fortunately, they didn't die. And even later, I could uh, play football with the guy, with the, with the, <laughs> the person that I ran over. So, okay, that's kind of my story. See, it's, it was a, uh, now I can see it not so badly, but when it happened to me, it was terrible. It was really terrible. In, I mean, I, I was many months thinking about that. I could have killed them. Fortunately, I didn't do it. Unfortunately, they recovered. Okay, so that is my story. Now, I would like you to tell me one story or something that happened to you in the past. Shortly, you tell me that. Okay, would you be able to do it? Who would like to start, Kimberly or Gloria? Kimberly, are you prepared? I just don't really have anything to share yet. Maybe I need some time to think. <laughs> Gloria, can you tell me anything um, about you? Yes, I can try. <laughs> yeah, okay, try. Um, uh, a few years ago in yeah. the summer, uh, while I was watching television, uh, the, giant, the huge forest behind my house uh, oh, yeah. was Sorry. burning. Sorry, I couldn't understand. Huh? While you were watching television, what happened? Uh, the forest that is behind my house. Yeah. I uh, start uh, was burning. Ah, yeah. You you have to say. So when you were while you were watching television, a fire started. A oh, fire okay. started in in the forest, which is close yeah. to your house. All right. Oh, pretty bad. And what uh, happened? Uh, my neighbors run to try to 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 save to save <laughs> their houses yeah um and i don't know why i i didn't know how to help and i only called the the firefighters yeah and the firefighters arrived on time and turned it off the fire and yeah. yes <laughs> okay and one, some questions uh, gloria uh, where do you live by the way in limache but in the in a like a mountain <laughs> all right it's the countryside kind of yes all right and, uh, and uh, another question were you alone at home or were you with your parents or with someone else alone <laughs> my parents are in their jobs Ah, yeah, where? So Your parents where? Remember ah, that my parents in were jobs? in their jobs. In their jobs, all right. What, what time was that? Like two o'clock? Yeah, like, two o'clock in yeah. the afternoon. Mm. Yeah, and, and when was that? A long time ago or some years ago only? Like four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. Okay. So you were you were pretty young. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, nothing happened in the end to your houses. No, it's only the the scare to the fire. Yeah, it's only the fear. The fear. The fear the fires. 
-hmm. or you were, or you can say, for example, it's only because I was scared. I remember that the verb is to be scared. Mm -hmm. And tener miedo is, tener miedo is be afraid, be scared. Be scared mm -hmm. es como estar asustado. Be afraid is tener miedo. Or fear, también es tener miedo. So, mm -hmm. I feared the fires. I was afraid of the fires. Or I was scared because of the fire. Right? So, mm -hmm. kind of that, that is the idea. Okay. So, are you still afraid of fires, uh, Gloria? Uh, no, no, no. But in that time, yes. <laughs> right yeah. now, yeah. no. At that time, you were. You were afraid, right? Yes. Okay. Kimberly, are you prepared now? Okay. Um, one time when I was younger, um, I had to get ready for school. And I was around like six years old, maybe. And we were running out of gas. So my mom decided to uh, use the typical way we use here with uh, the, ¿cómo se llama? El hervidor. Sorry? What? El hervidor. Boiler? Yeah, the boiler. Yeah. What a heater. So, what a heater. Yeah, we used that. And um, my mom told me to wait. And I didn't realize the water was burning. So I threw it in my head. And I just burned my whole head. And um, it was pretty scary. Uh, I went to the doctor and they had to shave my whole head. <laughs> but what, I don't know. Where did you get the, the water? Um, it's because we use the water boiler, like you said. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're running out of gas, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> At least when you pour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. And I just grabbed the water and I didn't see that it was um, hot or like uh, really, really hot. So I just poured it in my head and then Ooh. I got burned. Yeah, it hurt a lot. <laughs> you poured the water on your head. Yeah, because I thought it was it was cold water. <laughs> I didn't think it was like really really hot. Yeah, but um, yeah, nothing. You have, your, you have to shave your hair. Yeah, yeah. The doctor shaved my whole head, and they removed like the burned tissue and all of that. Oh. And um, yeah, but nothing happened like that serious, because I don't have any scars or anything. Yeah, nothing serious, and only some. Yeah. Scars. Now you, I, I imagine that now you are very careful about that. Yes. <laughs> I, sorry, my niece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because well, sometimes we don't, you don't realize what happens. And yeah. You, you think well, I was a kid, yeah. so maybe that's why. But now I rather just take like a cold uh, bath rather than just uh, doing the old method of the water boiler thing. I just, if we're running out of gas, I'll just take like a cold shower and that's it. Because I'm kind of afraid of that item. Yeah, well, it's it. Well, in the past, in the past, there were no these boilers, you know, and we used to use the kettle, you know, the kettle. First of all, it was pretty slow. We have to wait a long time, but sometimes the kettles were, you know, hot and you couldn't see it. Yeah, you didn't realize that. Or when the kettle, you know, turned down and sometimes the water was over your body. So it was kind of more dangerous. Now that I think that this, uh, this boiler. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing with the, with the kettle and these um, water boilers, almost the same thing. Because you, you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell when the water is really hot. But it was in another container at the moment, so I didn't touch the water before pouring it in my, like, in my body or like in my head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> girls. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, uh, I think we finished. We're done. Uh, I'm going to upload um, the materials that I um, that we saw today, and also I'm going to upload the grammatical the. Uh, what's the name of that? Uh, the English grammar in use with the both tenses and both pages, the explanation of simple past and exercises and the explanation of past progressive and exercises. So I want you to do these exercises for next class and uh, we're going to read them. Okay, so I'm going to show you first for you to see what 
you have to do. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah. Can you see? Yes, we can see it. Yeah, okay, in here, I have uh, this. Murphy pass continuous. Let me move this a little bit. I have Murphy pass simple, Murphy pass, con pass simple. Here I have the, in one of these, I have the explanation and in the other one exercises in here. <clears throat> and the same happens with, uh, with the past uh, continuous. For example, this is the explanation. Let me show the explanation, all right? Okay, so here you have the explanation. Past simple, I did. Well, the, the screen is frozen on exercise one. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you cannot see it? We can only see exercise one and what we have to do for the next lesson, but not the explanation you are talking about. Here, what do you see? The the my uh, my desktop, my desk. What do you see? No, it's, it's still frozen on the same thing. I think you have to do what you usually do: is stop sharing and then share again. I think so. Can you see now? Can you see now or not? Uh, I see the same thing, but like zoom out. <laughs> really small. Uh, let's see. I'm going to stop all the thing again. Yeah. Compartir pantalla. I share. Can you see now? Or it's still frozen? Mm. You're not sharing a screen yet. Yeah. I'm going we only to see you. Here. Okay, let me see. Okay, now it's starting to share. Yeah, all right, good. Okay, I yeah. see so your I desktop. Was, I was saying here, you have the uh, Murphy pass, Murphy pass continuous right here. Do you see that? Yes, we can see your, yeah, okay. your desktop I'm going and all that. Try to open it. Did it open? Yes. Yeah, all right. So you have the explanation and the exercises. So I want you to do these exercises, all right, for next class. That is the homework. In here you have, for example, complete the sentences, choose from. Was looking, yeah, the first one is already there, was wearing. So today Helen is wearing a skirt. Yesterday she was wearing trousers, okay? So what did he say? I don't know. I, you have to choose. I what? I was looking. No, I I don't know. I I I wasn't listening, right? What did he say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. All right. So you have to choose and do these exercises. The same with the other one. But you have you have also this, right? The one. Uh, no. So you want us to do that? Um, that. Uh, page and also the exercises from the website and you're going to correct them with us next class yeah right okay yeah but first you have to read the the explanation and then you do the exercises all right that's the idea okay. uh, i know that you cannot i think that you cannot uh, uh, change this because it's a it's a pdf i don't know if you have uh, if you can, if you have a, the application to change PDF, I don't know, but at least you, you have to read it and try to do it. We're going to correct it, correct it next class. Maybe you can write it, the, the answers on a piece of paper, and uh, we can check it next class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls, thank you very much for coming. And uh, so see you. Remember that this Friday we don't have classes because it's going to be free. Yeah, is it? It is a sandwich this Friday, so we're going to meet next Monday. Okay. Profe, podría yeah. dejar de grabar para preguntar algunas cositas, por favor.
Ok, bueno. ¿Sí? ¿Qué cosita? ¿Tú quieres preguntarme ahora? O... Ah, ya. Yeah. ¿Es posible que puedas stop recording? Ok, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Uh, I'm here. 